Shalom to the hopeful elect and praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakah, Kadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. I wanted to go into one of the flavors of the week. There's Israeli imposters who we know to be descendants of the tribe of Amalek of the nation of Edom. You have them advancing with their military strikes that is expanding into other countries and other areas, right? displacing hundreds of thousands of uh, Palestinians who we know to be from uh, from the progenitor of Ishmael, right? displacing hundreds of thousands of Ishmaelites and pushing them into other regions, right? other countries, namely Egypt. Okay, you had the strikes in Rafa that displaced hundreds of thousands of uh, Ishmaelites in southern Gaza. Okay, so you have um, some of these articles I'm going to hit up that are responses to those attacks and those that um, the advancements that they're making militarily, right? Um, responses from different peoples, okay? Pretty much um, all different peoples. You have Ham. We're going to go into Ham's response. Then we're going to go to even different Edomites' response to these bloodthirsty Ishmaelites um, fucking um, this this uh, bloodbath that they're continuing to to engage in over there, all right? That they're slacking, that they're fucking have been uh, the culprits of, all right? So let's get this. This is from RT. South Africa urges the ICJ to act against Rafa offensive. The expansion of Israel's ground operations in southern Gaza City may further violate Palestinians' rights, Johannesburg says. I believe Johannesburg is the capital of South Africa. And we'll just get the one of the quotes from this nigga from their top uh, official. All right. It says, um, the unprecedented military offensive against Rafa, as announced by the State of Israel, has already led to and will result in, far, in further large-scale killing, harm, and destruction, South African presidency said in a statement published on Tuesday, suggesting the ICJ take further provisional measures to restrain Israel. Okay, see? So the ICJ, when you go into it, is one of the six organs of the United Nations. Okay, which it's pretty much an entity that acts as um, as like arbitration. Okay, between two opposing forces. All right, it's like the entity that um, performs checks and balances on two nations that are in conflict. All right, pretty much preventing any type of war crimes and all this other shit that Esau's done, you know, since uh, the, the Renaissance era, since this, since he came back into power, all right? And, and really going back into his entire fucking track record, but we're just going into this last go round, all right? That whole fucking um, entity and all these different world courts and shit were created because of the war crimes that Esau has committed, man. Okay? And he's doing the same fucking shit right now. See? It says the, the controversial military operation targeting, co targeting the city Johannesburg de uh, described as the last refugee uh, Slaki, the last refuge for surviving people in Gaza constitutes a serious and irreparable breach both of the genocide 
Convention and of the Court's Order of 26 uh, January 2024, according to the statement. Okay. It says, the ICJ's order issued in response to the genocide case filed by South Africa in December saw the court command Israel to refrain from committing genocidal acts against Palestinians, specifically against killing or seriously injuring them or deliberately inflicting conditions of life calculated to bring about their physical destruction in whole or in part, such as restricting aid deliveries. So this is the devil at work, okay? All of his tactics, this goes into his track record, all right? All the deeds of E. And that's why this time is coming with major exposure. Elder uh, Malcolm always goes into how they, the elites, pretty much um, wish they would have never created the fucking internet, okay? This, this age of information, how it's so easily um, disseminated and spread, okay? And then look, you had a fucking um, a side, this little side article says, read more, Israeli spies threatening my family. This is the... Um, a South African uh, official, right? Government official, whatever the fuck. An FM. Not sure what that is. All right. Let's see. Fuck it. <clears throat> Let's just see what an FM is. Expand our foreign minister. Expand our understanding, our knowledge. All right. So when the, um, this man. Is threatened in any way, all right? His his um his the bloodlust that he's on. What is that bloodlust? Is um since thou has not aided blood, all right? That's why this man is just a fucking killing machine, a murdering machine, okay? But whatever that's being threatened, he's just gonna do what he always does and threaten to fucking kill you, all right? Probably already has hit men out on the bitch. Okay. So that's the response from South from South Africa. They actually fucking um filed um formal shit, uh what they call that? Uh -huh. What they call that uh -huh. A genocide case that was filed by South Africa in December. They fucking filed a formal case against these motherfuckers, man. It says, from RT, February 13th, UK tells Israel to stop and think over Gaza. West Jerusalem must carefully consider any military action in Rafa. Foreign uh, Secretary David Cameron has said, okay, it says, um, Israel must consider carefully the consequences of further military action in Rafa, in, um, in southern Gaza, which hosts approximately a million displaced Palestinian civilians, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron has said his comments came shortly after Israel carried out airstrikes that killed 67 people in the city and left dozens injured. According to local officials <clears throat> located near the Egyptian border, Rafa had a population of around 280,000 people before hostilities between Israel and Hamas broke out last October. The IDF had previously urged Palestinian civilians to evacuate to the city as it rolled into the northern part of the enclave. It says, um, speaking to the reporters on Monday, Cameron said, the UK is very concerned about the situation and we want Israel to stop and think very seriously before it takes any further action. Okay. He argued that it is impossible to see how 
you can fight a war amongst these people, referring to Rafa's swollen population, noting that there's nowhere for them to go. Okay. According to former British Prime Minister, London would like to see an immediate pause in the fighting that would lead to a ceasefire. Okay. On Saturday, Cameron's estimated, estimated that over half of Gaza's population are sheltering in the area at the moment. Okay. So this is other Edomites over there in the UK. That's in the United Kingdom, that's that whole conglomerate of um, English, if you will. Or no, because you have the fucking, um, what is that? Uh, Slovakia, Irish, and all those shits. So the UK is fucking, is, is comprised of several different countries. Okay. Or um, we'll say, um, yeah, several different countries, right? Let's fucking qualify that shit. So the, the UK is made up of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Okay, that whole conglomerate of nations is, is telling them to fucking pump the fucking brakes, man. Okay. And then, of course, you had Egypt that threatened to um, to pretty much uh, nullify one of their uh, very key treaties that they have with Israel, right? Because with these attacks in Rafa, it's di- displacing, it's potentially displacing um, more of those um, Ishmaelites into other areas, other countries, okay? And even Egypt threatened to, let me, let me pull it, let me pull it. Egypt threatens to uh, nullify key peace treaty with the Israel. Bam. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's lock it. All right, there it is. It said Egypt is threatening to void its decades-old peace treaty with Israel. See? Because of all the fucking slaughtering. Understanding that even when it comes to war, there's a certain code of conduct. There's a certain de- decorum, even with war. All right? That the fucking so-called white man Esau eat him. And fuck shit. The, the chief tribe, Amalek, is uh, guilty of, mm-hmm. of not ab- uh, abiding by Salak. This is a response from a nigga named Joseph Borrell, okay, one of EU's top diplomats. He said he's urged the U.S. to send less arms to Israel. And he says a statement that says, not, not, a, not, not a Jew doesn't listen to anyone. Okay. Says, um, supplies of weapons to Israel should be reduced as the country's prime minister, Benjamin, not, not a Jew, net, not a Jew has organ- ignored international calls to avoid civilian casualties during the IDF's military operation in Gaza. EU foreign policy chief Burrell has said, okay, according to the latest figures from Gaza's health ministry, 28,473 people have been killed and 68,146 more wounded in Israeli airstrikes and the ground offensive against the Palestinian enclave. The IDF has been attacking Gaza since the Palestinian armed group Hamas launched its October 7th strike on Israel in which 
1,200 people lost their lives and some 240 were, were taken hostage. Okay, it says... During a press conference on Monday, Burrell recalled the words of U.S. President Joe Biden, who said last week that the Israeli response to the Hamas attack had been over the top. Okay. It says, well, if you believe that too many people are being killed, maybe you should provide less arms in order to prevent the killing of so many people. Okay. So you even have an EU dip on the top EU diplomat telling you that these fucking rats that they don't listen to anybody. All right. And really this is going to escalate into the world wanting to destroy this fucking man. All right. These filthy decrepit people that the world has been for, for the longest, but, Because these people control the media, they control the narrative, and they have a fucking stranglehold over all industries, okay? All sectors, all industries, all right? They they are, um, they make up the elite, okay? The super fucking elite powers that be that's running the fucking show right now, which is what they think they are, right? But really, it's, of course, the most high. They're consulting the left-handed demons that are under the control of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. But with all the control that these fucking rats have in society to control that narrative, they have masked and disguised themselves as the victims, and they've hidden all the fucking wicked shit that that they do, okay, across the planet. But despite those attempts, the Most High is revealing him, okay? This time is a very crucial for the exposure of Esau, Edom, and primarily fucking the, the chief tribe, all right? Well, this is not with anything. If, um, it starts at the top and it fucking trickles down, all right? Or you, um, you go for the head, okay? Just like they fucking went for Judah, right? They attacked the, the Negro man the most of all the nations. But you have this top of you diplomat urging these different people and um, suppliers of weapons to Israel, to the fucking Israeli imposters. To, to 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 cease, okay. The sending of any arms to those motherfuckers. This is the last article from RT. It says NATO member to stop sending F thirty five parts to Israel. A Dutch court has blocked the exports, citing risk of human rights violations. Okay. It said the appeals court in The Hague ruled on Monday that the Netherlands must stop sending Israel spare parts for its F-35 fighter jets, saying that there is a risk that the U.S.-made aircraft are being used for serious violations of international humanitarian law against Palestinians. Responding to a lawsuit launched by several human rights groups in December, a lower court ruled that the sale of fighter jet parts was a political decision. The appeals court disagreed. The Netherlands must prohibit the export of military goods if there is a clear risk of serious violations of the humanitarian law of war, the judges said on Monday. Okay, so you have even have fucking arms dealers that have made executive decisions to stop sending munitions and um, weapons and different um, parts on military vehicles because it's fucking killing people, all right, in droves and in masses. You see, so we see it being set up perfectly here, the prophecy in Jeremiah 50 and 45, the least of uh, of the flock drawing out the rest of the nations. Okay, 
we see responses here from several different um, peoples. Okay. I'm going to start off in Zechariah 9 and 6 because contrary to the um, the belief of the masses of the people, okay, the common misconception, those people that are dwelling in Israel, in the Holy Land, they receive that land illegitimately, okay? They are indeed bastards, and this prophecy goes into the fact that a bastard will be dwelling in our land, man, okay? This among many that reveal that our heritage was given over into a fucking heathen, all right? It says, and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. All right, we know that to be a bastard, to be an illegitimate son. But we're going to go a little further in the etymology. Okay. It says... <clears throat> of course, a um, an illegitimate child that we know, right? But we're going to expound, and it's going to say, here it is. The figurative sense of a thing not pure or genuine, okay? Which is Esau, Edom. Salakia, yeah, which is Esau Edom. He is the fucking counterfeit, all right? And it's heavy because these these people were always, um, the, the world, all other nations, when these people were doing their dirty fucking dealings, all right, specifically these Amalekites, all right? During the time of the Khazarian Empire, the whole world knew to beware of these fucking people because they'd steal your identity. They called them the name stealers and shit. Okay. So they're indeed um, counterfeit, all right? The figurative sense of thing not pure or genuine. Okay. And Ashdod is fucking modern day Tel Aviv, okay, which is the, the biggest mole parade, the mole capital of the world outside of fucking Frisco, all right, and it might take the cake uh, nowadays, um, it, you know, in this day, all right, it's in Job 35, it says, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys and the caves of the earth and in the rocks. Okay. So it was very fitting for the Most High to fucking command. It wasn't a, um, a suggestion. He commanded uh, the nation of Israel, okay, our army to destroy the fucking Amalekites, okay? Because these are these are the worst people in the history of mankind, okay? The most detestable, bloodthirsty, backstabbing, felonious, wicked fucking people that the world has ever fucking seen, okay? They're not good to anything. They're adverse to all of creation, all right? And some of the world knew this at a time. That's why this motherfucker is constantly hiding in the identities of other peoples, taking the identities of other peoples. Okay. Fucking Jaffet. All right. Really, everyone. Every fucking body. He's appropriated the culture, right, to try to hide. And that's this goes back to the curse of Cain as well. 
all right, which is likening to like the pre-incarnation of Esau, okay, which is the forefather of, of Amalek, all right, this is their, this would be on their line forever, as it said, to Cain's descendants, right, that they would be a fugitive and a vagabond, because they just, they are a, a, um, a crooked soul, all right? And that's what, going into that um, counterfeit fucking, uh, what did it say? Um, not not genuine, right? That goes into crooked as well. This motherfucker is defective, all right? And the defective, when something comes off the line defective, they can't, you can't refurbish it or fix it, okay? Something that was that it was manufactured with was completely off, and you have to destroy it. Okay, and that's Esau Edom, and the world knew this at one time. But like I said, with the, his control of the narrative now, that he has the world in his fucking hand. You know, he he he, um, he truly was in a clandestine state for a time. All right. But he's he's fucking himself by by um, just blatant and brazenly going over there and um, and performing the slaughtering on that slaughtering campaign that he's on, All right? But ultimately, going into this prophecy that we're witnessing before our eyes, at least the flock that are being um, that are drawing out, because. We're going to break that, go into the precept and break it down real quick, but we're witnessing that before our very eyes, all right? Drawing them out, going into the, these uh, the other nations of the world, okay? They're going to want to put their hands on this fucking rat, okay? You can see that he's fucked everybody fi um, monetarily, financially. Right, um, he's heaped up all the fucking resources to himself, and had everybody in um, in a dystopian state. <laughs> okay, and that's why it says um, right here that they were driven forth from among men. Well, first of all, the Most High instructed us to to exterminate them, so they wouldn't have even been around. But the fact that they did stick around and they did. Um, multiply and be around the other nations they they didn't fucking want them around them okay so they so they ex, they expelled them all right and that's going to culminate here in this prophecy that we're witnessing in Jeremiah 50 and 45 it says therefore Hear ye the counsel of Yahweh Shimei that he hath taken against Babylon, and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Okay, the Chaldeans being the elites. All right, and Babylon, um, uh, America, while it is uh, a very centrifugal piece in biblical prophecy, it is simply just the the military arm that Apostle Tahar was going into this. It is the um, it is the military um, entity, if you will, of the elite. Okay. So ultimately, the whole um, regime. Okay, the elite's entire regime is going to fall on this time. This is the, the council that the Most High has against the entire elite's regime. Not just America's going to fall. It's the entire fucking world, uh, world's governments that's run by one uh, entity right now. All right. On the surface, on the surface, it's being run by one entity. But of course, it's Yahweh Shemiel Shai. All right, influencing them to do it, to play right into his hands. It says, surely the least of the flock 
shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. Okay. And the least of the flock, of course, going into those fucking Malachites, the so-called Jews. All right. They, their number is there when you go into their um, population. The so-called rat population is um, the smallest among and the lowest among all the different Edomite tribes. Okay. And them are drawing out the rest of the nations. We just saw all the response that they're having. Okay. In the wake of this man, the destruction that he is, that he is uh, causing, okay, to so-called innocent civilian lives, all right, and to f- fucking a world humanitarian crisis of what this man is doing, you see? So it, it's drawing out what this fucker is doing is drawing out the other nations, okay? And at this point, we're only waiting for a, a couple prophecies to come in tandem with this, all right? To completely close the chapter in this, oh, of, of this current uh, age that we're in, Esau's fucking age, man, all right? The MOTB, and we're already fucking pretty much witnessing Jacob Trouble, but those actual agendas of, of uh, destruction upon our people that are just right there around the corner, okay? To show you how fucking close we are to the end of this bitch, okay? We see it right now, all those responses all over the fucking world in the wake of this man's destruction, okay? At least before me. And with that, we want to give all praise and honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yeah, how about Shai Bashimaka Kadash? Shalom.